Hi Virgo Seeker. Welcome to the Existential Shift for your monthly tarot scope um, for November with well, Morgaine. How's October treating you? How is Venus retrograding treating you? You like to feel like your emotional realm is con in control. That's what allows you to help others with their emotional realm. But right now, the fish are swimming inside your subconscious and tickling. And you're like, excuse me, can you put that back in place? That I, 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 when I was seven, I put that in that box. What you doing now taking it all out? Look at this mess. There are drawers for a reason. I know this feeling. I know where it came from. I tucked it in over there. I know this emotion and I know this fear. And I know this obsession and I know this habit and I know all of these things. What, you think you can surprise me? Venus retrograding in Scorpio? Who are you? I am Virgo. Yeah, Virgo, you are. I love you for it. I love you for it. We all do. But here's the thing. Sometimes chaos is the key to order. Are you okay with what I just said? Think about it for a second. Breathe it in. I know. I know. Sometimes chaos is the key to order. Sometimes you need to take the wrong turn to get to the right place. To have the wrong relationship to get to know what you truly need. You live, you learn. You feel, you heal. You lose control. And then you gain control. And then the newfound control is real. I'm working with a new deck. It's called the Da Vinci deck. I'm kind of excited. It's interesting. So thank you for helping me initiate it. Okay, let's just get to it, right? Let's just get to it. Six of Pentacles, Virgo. Good. An opportunity to do what it is that you wanted to do. There is something that you really wanted to do and now you get a shot at it. A sudden income that allows you to make that investment, to make that purchase, to do that, to make that move. Sudden assistance. You're not too happy about it because no one likes to feel owed, right? But I don't think it's something you can avoid right after the emperor. And the Eight of Wands. Okay, so if this is someone investing in you, putting their trust in you, you need to act fast. You need to say yes and you need to have swift movement and you need to go. Or come. <laughs> or do. Get it. Whatever. This could be an oppor uh, this could be a career opportunity, a career prospect where you're being offered a position, being offered an opportunity, a project that might require movement or travel or expansion, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And so much structure in this reading. I have six, four, eight. Harmony, stability, 
material balance and knowing how to work with all of these virgo i love this energy this is energy that you love for yourself and if it felt a little bit chaotic until now things are being straightened out november 1st venus is leaving uh scorpio she goes in retro still but in libra things are more balanced more logical the emotional realm and the work is more um i don't want to say cognitive because it's not libra is very emotional and very um it, it has the feels it just it knows how to balance the feels or it, it aspires to balance the feels and you appreciate that virgo very um active masculine energy in this reading this is doesn't this doesn't mean that if you're a female it's not relevant to you. masculine like the yang okay we all have yin and yang inside of us so this is the active force in us that takes control <clears throat> i'm going to keep hiding the front of this cup and the back because it says something really funny and really dirty And if you'll see it, that's the only thing you'll think about for the entire reading. <laughs> I forgot that this cup has this um, inscription. <laughs> Maybe I'll expose it at the end. I don't know. I just, yeah, no. I, I have my sense of humor, but I want, I want us to focus <laughs> on the reading. But I'm seeing it and it makes me giggle. And that's good. It brings good vibes. <laughs> something that has to do with the magic of coffee ah the magic of coffee i made a very i'm taurus but i made a very big dramatic move in my life i moved from one country to the other Wee um and because it was so significant i take note on that it's almost like i landing where i landed gave me a new zodiac and virgo is my current new zodiac <laughs> and i love you guys so i'm happy okay proud to be a bipolar taurus slash virgo why not okay let's keep going let's see further into november please i have six of pentacles the the, the emperor and the eight of wands some of you are actually deciding to say no to an offer or to an assistance, be it financial, be it whatnot, um, because you're deciding to take your own path and your own road and being independent and you don't want to owe anything, which I respect that. Um, so if that is something that you can and want to do, then go for it, of course. Uh, it's not for all of you. Some of you need that assistance and can really benefit from it. Um, so I'm not saying that the assistance is a bad thing. I'm not saying that you need to refuse it. I'm saying some of you have the option and are considering. Okay. Um, but let's see where this movement of the Eight of Wands is leading us. King of Cups. This deck is so interesting. King of Cups. Okay. Another masculine figure, but it's more in the water um, element. It's more emotional, um, flowing, intuitive, sensitive, um, accepting, receptive. So from very active energy, fiery active energy, we're going into a softer energy. Let's see, maybe this will clarify. King of Pentacles. Okay. A lot of kings and emperors in this reading. Okay. Okay, for those of you that this is a business reading, um, career endeavor, um, if you have potential partners, potential investors, um, the more you, you seem to be aiming towards a personality that is more 
King of Cups that is more in the emotional, sensitive, supportive, soft energy. But then come the King, come the, the King of Pentacles, and they're turning their back to each other. And the King of Pentacles is looking forward. I feel like I want to see what comes after the King of Pentacles, what he's look, looking towards, what it brings and reveals, um, and, and to see if this is an option between two. Um, then which one is more suitable? Let's see. Let's see what. Okay, thank you. Two of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. There's a dilemma. A dilemma between two options. Um, I could say it's a romantic thing for those of you, maybe because you know we have two, three figures, and then the Two of Pentacles. But there's so many Pentacles <laughs> in this reading already, and so much. Um, coins and money and energy of drive and of taking control. I feel like this is very much so could be something that has to do with your career, um, that you're fit, trying, you, you're going to have to potentially choose between two directions, either two people or two types of um, energies to go about with. Seven of Wands. So we went from the Eight of Wands to the Seven of Wands. And the more you'll take your time with it, the more you will lose uh, the um, the time. Okay, so first, out of the bat, I'm just going to um, strengthen what I said in the beginning. If you're being offered an assistant or an opportunity, take it fast and be active and move about it. Don't take your time to overthink things because then you will lose your... Um, this, the power of the of inertia. Okay, the more you'll think about it, the more you'll 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 give time for other people to think about it, and you don't want that. Okay, you want to just strike the iron while it's hot. What should I name this video? Strike the iron while it's hot, or sometimes the key to order is chaos. Or sometimes chaos is the key to order. After I make a decision, please write in the comments which one you preferred or thought was better. I don't know. Sometimes I need you guys to help me. Tell me what you think. Okay. What else? Nine of Swords. Yes. Okay. Do not deliberate. Do not be like, mm, let me think about it. This is a great offer, but let me think about it. No. Still not showing you? Not forgetting. Mm -hmm. Also, don't negotiate too much if it has to do with an offer. Don't be petty on the details. Um, look at the big picture. Uh, look at the longevity, the potential of the opportunity and of the offer or whatever this is. If it's a relationship, then of the relationship, I don't know. Act fast because you have a real chance of something throughout this month. I don't know what that is, guys. Okay, this is a general reading. Um, if this really resonates with you, you're more than welcome to come to me for a private reading. You have my email below in the information box. We'll figure it out. But generally speaking, if this resonates with you, strike the iron while it's hot. And even chaos leads to order. Even if the details seem a little bit disoriented or there are a lot of things that you want to figure out, figure it out as you go, but say yes first. I know it's not something I would always say. If I would see the tower, then I would say, oh, make sure that you have all the details straightened out. But... Let's take the route of the benevolent um, potential outcome and see where it leads to. But let's not forget that I just had the Seven of Wands with the Nine of Swords. Meaning there is potential outcome that is negative. So take the advice. Okay? Fate is not what comes to us. Fate is the opportunity that comes to us and then the choices that we make with those, you know, opportunities. We give it the stamp of fate, you know. Okay, let's keep going, please, for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, by the way. Venus, if you resonate with that. Um, moved to another continent and you have a new birthday. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If it resonates, it resonates. I don't do judgment. Okay, sorry. Virgo, November. 
I'm, I'm getting it's something that I always say in my readings, but I'm getting to say it now specifically. I also recommend to go back to your October reading, see this past month reading. We're now in the last third of the month. Energies are at their highest. This is when you make the connections and then see what leads to what. Now, now that I said it, Spirit, can we keep going, please? For Virgo, for November. No, I didn't. It doesn't want to come out. Okay. I'm going to show it to you. Don't worry. Uh, seven of Pentacles. Okay. That's better. Assuming that we make the right choice, we leap on the opportunity. Now we start planning and doing and working and being accurate and being specific on the details. Okay. Now that we said yes, now that we gave it the go, now that we moved towards it, for it, with it. Now let's put the seeds. Let's plant the seeds and allow the outcome to grow. Let's save our money and be wise with it. If you, you know, it's like we, we go from six of pentacles to seven of pentacles, right? We went, we, we had a little um, um, mishap, a hiccup, I'm sorry, we went to two of pentacles because we wanted to think about it. But then we straightened up because we watched the existential shift. We listened to more game. And okay, we're doing this. Great. So we're going from the six to the seven. So we use what we have, what we are given, and we make something out of it, right? We invest it. We work with it. We allow it to grow with patience and ease. What is this? Can can I see more into this, please? Oh. 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 <laughs> Strength, the moon, the hangman. Strength, the moon, the hangman. I do have uh, two sevens. Okay, I'm going to leave this because this was at the bottom of the deck. I picked up the, the deck and this stayed behind and I was just curious so I, I looked at it. This was the bottom and you can't ignore the Ace of Swords so I'm leaving it here. And now I'm going to show you the reading and I'm going to talk some more. So, let me just make it look pretty for you guys. We're going to finish up. If you're, if you're new to my channel, we are going to finish this reading with messages from the Akashic Tarot, aka the Akashic Records, which are mind-blowing and beautiful. Um, but before that, I'll show you your extended reading that um, is made of the numerological aspect of the card and the element aspect of the cards, and a few more things I will explain later. Okay. So, so far, so narrative. Accurate, mundane, 3D, do's, don'ts, one plus one equals two. And then, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Strength, the moon, the hangman. Something throughout the month of November will require emotional and psychological stamina. will require patience towards yourself and towards your environment. Patient, patience, patience. Looking at the big picture, understanding what it is that you're working for. It might come with some sort of sacrifice. I don't know if it's of the ego um, or of how you feel about things. Um, But this is something that is very guided by the universe, Ace of Swords. It is a plan that is formed, that is uh, cosmically formed in your behalf. To build something better and bigger for yourself. It will require you harnessing and taking control over your old self. And harnessing all that energy and 
as a, and rather than you know argue over things or uh, deliberating over things or trying to give your your um, last word, your point of view, your how I'm used to doing things kind of thing. It requires you to um, really cut through that and be very honest with yourself and not operate from, you know, from an old set of beliefs or even a current set of beliefs and just really playing the game, really understanding what this could mean for you. This is a great opportunity to be really empowered, Virgo, and not all of you could handle it. I'm already, you know, I, because I asked from the cards, you know, the most benevolent potential op outcome, and I have here the Nine of Swords, it's also a possibility. Yes, some of you will fall into that trap of your subconscious, of your ego, of how you thought things should be, but some of you are going to expand in such levels that are just really create some sort of magic in your life, uh, a serendipitous chain of events that will lead to fulfilling something so accurate for you that so resonate so resonates with a, a potential higher self, a, a potential future higher self that you really want it, you know, you really want it to manifest, you really want it to happen. Do not want to fight this, okay? Um, you might be your greatest enemy throughout this. Hmm. Some of you might will might have to make certain sacrifice for this, a certain emotional sacrifice. Uh, either of a set of beliefs or a certain set of values, you know, it might go against maybe this opportunity or this relationship uh, is not um, uh, cohesive with your religion, with your um, how you view yourself, um, how you thought and planned yourself to, you know, to attain that, to achieve that goal or whatnot. Um, so yeah, it will, you know, it will strike a chord. It will be challenging for you to go about it this way the way that it will come about but i'm encouraging this the cars are current encouraging this okay this reading is very much encouraging of this hmm. there could also be maybe some of you are competing with someone else in your workplace over a position or over something and you can either make it or break it with the littlest of things so if you're petty and um, argumentative with the boss or with whoever is supposed to make that decision you will lose that opportunity as opposed to if you play your cards right um, and are patient and you hold in all your um, emotional whatnots and you sacrifice it and you don't have to have the last word and you just play the perfect role of the perfect employee bam the job is yours bam the man bam the woman is yours right so this could be this could be this could be relationship guys this could be you planning how to have someone choose you i don't know you need to be smart i really see a need so be very smart and patient and, and, and playing your cards right throughout the month of November and that will be very, very worth the while. Please come back to this reading in about three weeks and let me know if it, you know, how it how things turned out. Because I really like this reading. I think it's super cool and I like the accurate advice that it brings. Okay, anything else I need to say to Virgo or and or conclude with before we move on to the um, Akashic Tarot? 
please, Spirit? Anything else for Virgo for the month of November, please? Man, are you out? <laughs> Now I don't remember neither of the two options that I had to name this video. Seriously? Oh, sometimes uh, chaos leads to order and there was another thing. I'll remember. Okay. More messages for my amazing Virgos. Okay, while I'm asking for messages for Virgo and until the cards will fall down, um, I'll be smart with our time. I will remind you guys or let you know if you're new to my channel that there is Tarot Masterclass. And that's what I needed to say, apparently. <laughs> so I'll, I'll say more about this uh, soon. Okay, uh, Page of Pentacles. And okay, great. That's what I needed. Another seven. Yeah, we have a very specific uh, extended. And another six, six of swords. Okay, this... um kind of sort of concludes what I said being smart and accurate about an offer about an opportunity we went from the king to the to the page I think it's because we were a little bit ap uh, apprehensive about it um, and then we had to in, or, and then because of that we need to fix and be smart um, and maybe a little bit of strategic in order to come back to the opportunity that we received. Uh, Six of Swords, I think, supports the Eight of Wands, the need of movement. Um, a change in scenery. Let's see. Oh, okay. All right, guys. You are very, very, very talented. And whatever it is that you're setting your eyes and goal on, you can do it. Okay, the magician has all, all means to his ends. He really knows how to work reality, how to work the elements, how to behave. A combination of the magician with the, um, with the hangman, this is a master shapeshifter. This is not, I'm not saying hypocrite. Please, please don't see it that way. I'm saying someone who's just really, um, um, not complicated, um, talented, gifted in many ways. He is um, versatile. He knows what to say, when to say, how to say, what to do, when to do, what to do, when to do, all that, um, to achieve his goals. Especially with the Seven of Swords, you really need to be smart about something, Virgo. You really need to be planning. You need to put all your ego aside all your emotional battles aside and just think really clear about the, 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 the goal for the long term and do the steps perfectly as they come. Have every word and every deed be very accurate and thoughtful not overthinking, arrogant, and let me take my time thinking. No, you get an opportunity, do it right, take it. And then do the next step and the next step, okay? This will be really on the, you, you will sit on the fence. You, you, I, can, I see you either falling down to really green meadows and be like, yes, made it. Or be like, shit, I lost that opportunity. But when I have the magician here, you have strong abilities you just need to manifest your brain into action um if if that requires you going for a little bit taking some distance from something um taking a break from something i'm not sure maybe taking a vacation or some sort of movement even if it feels like you know, uh, sometimes like the rogatka, I forget how to say it, when you, you stretch yourself back in order to leap forward, you know, uh, two steps back, 20 steps forward kind of thing. You know, be be that checkmate master. Be able to see uh, the big picture and be okay with, you know, making some sort of sacrifice, feeling like you're going backwards in something in order to really go forward to, to get that leap. 
All right. Before I bring the camera back up and give you messages from the Akashic Tarot, this is great to finish up with. I have the Magician here and the Ace of Swords here. Whatever it is you set your goal on and you plan and you be smart on, you'll get it. Just make it work. Also, I have Master Manifestors here. The Strength card and the Magician. This is allegedly the white magic. This is the black magic. The, you know, forcing your will on reality and shift, shifting reality. Um, as opposed to, not as opposed to, but also with. This is just working with the universe, being very, very much aligned with the universal spirit's will. Um, that is aligned with your will. And then just naturally things happen uh, at, to your benefit, right? So... A lot of power is hiding here. A lot of strength. So if you are willing to be the little guy that asks for a little bit of help or uh, behaves differently than what he wants to behave, he or she, to go back to royalty, to being in, in a higher position. You know, this is like someone who's willing to go back to do smaller a job or a small role or a small position because they know that it's temporary and that will lead to something really good i'm thinking like the the thing that comes to mind for me to me for some reason as, as an example is like a known actor or a known actress that i know took a little bit of time off and now they want to get back to business so that they have to take a small role that normally they wouldn't take and they know that it's actually smart it's actually a good strategy they're they're you know their agents or the director or whatever they're giving them a chance so they can either say no because of their ego or they can say yes this is important to me i need to get back to business okay this is a good project it will make me look good even if it's small fine so something like that Right, or if uh, you had a breakup, or you wanted, or for some reason you really wanted someone to give you a chance in, in romance, and for a little bit of time, for what not reason, it needs to go on their terms, and you kind of need to make some sacrifices um, in order for them to give you another opportunity, or for them to give you a chance. Um, then it's worth it, you know. Then this reading says it's worth it. Play the game yeah okay now let's see your extended so we'll get to the akashic tarot so in the extent what i do i take first of all the the repetitive elements so we start obviously with the uh, major arcana so i have the magician the emperor um the uh, strength hangman and the moon okay and what, what happens when I rearrange the table is that a new and added narratives come up and they bring a completely different point of view or something completely different in case you didn't resonate, right? Uh, and also to show you how there's so many ways to read the cards. They are so complicated and magical and fantastic. And it's mind-blowing. So I have sevens, three sevens, not something you can ignore. Um two sixes and I address the numerological aspect I do Babylon numerology it doesn't necessarily resonate with the Pythagoras numerology so if you don't understand what I'm saying you know open your mind the rest will fall it's more ancient numerology it's the thing that I had in my head since childhood and it's just it's just how I do it um, let's see in case I'm not missing out on anything so I have Two kings here. This is two, eight, nine. Page, ace. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave these guys on the table. I'm not promising to work with them. I'm gonna see how my intuition goes with it uh, once I start the reading. I'm gonna see what happens. Okay. And let's build it like this. Six, seven. All right, so and then this is just the beginning, okay, of the extended. After I talk about these babies, I clear the table, I make a new shuffle, and what we do is a Celtic cross. Celtic cross is a very ancient reading, uh, 
gypsy reading, 10 cards on the table. The narrative is very clear and specific. This can either um, kind of really give more details for whatever it is that we resonated with here, or it can give something completely different every time something else happens. So we'll just see, you know, it's a, di it's a dynamic thing. And then we conclude from a message from the rune, a rune for you, my Virgo, lovely healers, beautiful creatures uh, for your month of November. Okay, we'll conclude with that. Now, phew, the Akashic Tarot, love them, love them. They're also quite gorgeous. Uh, oh, link to this extended, by the way, is uh, in the information box below. There's also the link to the Tarot Master Class, uh, where I teach tarot. You have a class for each card, and I, I post them as I go. So not all of them are up yet, but next month I'm going to post many more new ones. So if you're a regular student of mine, this is an opportunity to just repeat watching them to prepare yourself for the, for the next part. Um, and if you're new, this is an opportunity to kind of uh, keep up with the rest and, you know, to make yourself ready for the new ones to come. Yay! And of course, my email for a private session. Okay, dear Akashic Records, please give me the most accurate benevolent message for the month of November for my lovely Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Message for Virgo for November, please. Message for Virgo for November. Oh, too too much. <laughs> too much, too much, too much. They're like, we want to do an entire reading. Why do you only give the classic tarot and not us? Maybe one day I'll do a complete reading with um, this oracle. Could be cool. But for now, just one card, please, for Virgo for November. Okay, while we wait, I already put the intention in it. Uh, I just want to express my gratitude for my subscribers, for my seekers. Um, if you're new, please join, press the subscribe button uh, and the bell next to it if you really feel like it, because that way you'll know that um, more videos of mine are being posted for you. Uh, it's also a great way to support my journey, um, so it will be greatly appreciated. For those of you who comment, I always read all your comments. If I don't press the like on it, doesn't mean that I don't like it. It just means that I keep it like on everything. Sometimes I miss it, yeah, but I, I, I really try to read it all and I'm grateful for it. Um, so thank you for being a part of my journey, Virgo. Sorry, my hair is like, I want to be pretty for Virgo. Why is she messing with her hair, with her hair so much? Because I like to look nice for work though. Messages for Virgo for November, please. Am I forgetting to say something? Why are you guys mixing it so, so long? Um, you know about all the links in the information box. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Link is also below. The Existential Shift. That's easy. Um, I have a new picture pictures um, on my Vimeo website for Extended, so you can check it out. Check your Sun, Moon, and Rising. I I'm waiting, guys. I'm not doing this on purpose. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for other placements for a broader picture. I already said all these things. I'm just being... It's just repetition, so I'm like, um, Sorry. Um, go back to your October reads make the connections and grow with a spiritual being as opposed to just knowing what will be. And happy Halloween. Is that what I'm supposed to say to you? Check out my Bruce Lee video. I visited his grave a couple days ago and I made a video with a special meditation for you guys with to to forward you his energy. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm a martial artist, in case you don't know. Seriously, I'm literally just waiting for the message to come. I don't want to force it, so I'm just filling up the gap. 
Uh, come on. Oh, thank you. Yay, we got it. Five of Roses, The Garden. Okay. Story time. Five of Roses. There it is. Two children play in a sunny, lush green garden. A boy shoots a slight shot, while a girl next to him watches a butterfly in the flowers with a magnificent glass. Oh, a slight shot! We talked about it! Right? Pulling back to shoot forward. Two steps back, 20 steps forward. Yes. Nailing it. Sorry. 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 Okay. The magnif flowers with a magnificent glass. If children aren't a part of your life already, this card could show their arrival. It also could indicate that your children, even adult children, could become more of a focus for you. They may have some concerns of their own, but even so, opportunities for things to mend come easily right now. There also may be real change and benefit for one of your children who has made a special effort recently. This is a, this is a very advantage, advantageous time for the children around you enjoy it and help them enjoy it too so i'm pretty certain not all my seekers have children um so that was for you guys but i'm gonna give you a little bit of a bonus because i love you guys so much and i'm gonna just cut the deck and ask for another message for my virgos who uh children in their lives is not relevant and they also want a message from the akashic tarot please message for virgo Five of keys, wish, um, wishes fulfilled. Okay, so we're into the number five. We had five of roses and five of, of keys. Um, so I'm going to read you this. Because I like my seekers and I like you guys to be happy. Um, wait, wait, where is it? Uh, by the way, my private readings are global, so it doesn't matter, matter where you are in the world, in the universe, we can talk. Okay, just email me, I'll explain everything. Super easy. All right, five of keys, wishes fulfilled. Take another look at the card just because it's pretty. Great. All right. The scene is a, is a bright and full uh, storeroom, a larder for a sizable and successful estate. Inside are keys and coins, wines and spices. Also within the room are a number of baskets filled with a bounty of fruits, vegetables, breads, flowers, sugars and grains. Even the many windows look out at the, at the expanse of your world. Um, this card is a sign that the time has come for your wishes to be fulfilled and your dreams to be realized. Difficulties may have, may have challenged you for a time, but even in these, victory is assured. There is an abundance of sweet nourishments and acquired lands coming. The keys to the castle are yours. Celebrate. Okay, so for those of you who are looking to move or to find a place, then the keys to the castle are yours. Yay. <laughs> All right, guys. Great. So this is um, signing off. I will see you guys for the December reads. Happy Halloween. Um, I will see you in a second on the extended. Uh, I love you guys dearly. Uh, and this is where you subscribe. This. this. That. Do your thing. <laughs>